Philbin, CEO of Teen Tech. I'm also a science broadcaster. Innovation is, for me, it's, it's all about joining the dots. And I think one of the things that people forget is that if you're going to join the dots, and this, this is a, a Steve Jobs quote, by the way, uh, you, you have to know roughly what those dots are. And you can only innovate if you understand not only your own industry or your own business, but other people's businesses and industries, which may not be in the least bit related to your own, because that's where you're going to get the fresh ideas from. So innovation is about not just understanding what you do in great depth, it's looking around, just constantly watching the horizon and going to things that you might not normally go to. I make a real point of going to events that I'm not sure whether or not I'm going to be remotely interested in them. But because my feeling is if I go to the same conferences that everybody else goes to, I'm going to hear the things everybody else is going to hear. But if I go to the things that I know they're not going to, then I'm going to hear stuff that no one in my industry will know about. So innovation is about bringing ideas together which obviously create something much bigger than the two original ideas. I think it's really important to innovate and uh, we do it in a number of ways. Uh, we listen very, very carefully to feedback because I think sometimes it's, it, you tend to listen to the good feedback and think, oh, we did a really great job there, but you don't listen to poor feedback and that's where you're going to improve. And also, it's about being really honest, because sometimes you do things, and you may really like them. They may be pet projects, you know, a, a pet um, product. But if you want to innovate, you sometimes have to be brutally honest with yourself and go, do you know what? Um, that's not working. Let's do something different. And, and, it, can be, and it sounds like it's, this is really obvious stuff. But it's really difficult because every, we all get very attached to things. We all do things because we've always done them. And there's some unwritten law that says we have to carry on doing things the same way. And it can feel, as an organisation, you can feel quite nervous doing something in a slightly different way because you know how to do the other way, even if that isn't perhaps working best. So uh, I think it, for us, um, for Teen Tech, it's really important that we constantly innovate because we want to give young people the best possible advice about what their futures are likely to be like in five or six years' time. So we have to constantly move. And uh, one of the things that I've decided is that I'm not going to have people running activities at Teen Tech where young people will not find employment in the future. It's all about real opportunities and opportunities sometimes which I might not have heard of. So uh, the thing that's fantastic about innovating for Teen Tech is that you know, we're all learning and you know, having great experiences at the same time. When you want to drive innovation within an, any organisation, it, it always comes back to listening. And it's about understanding that innovation isn't something that as CEO, you decide you're going to do. Um, it's about something that everyone in the organisation has input into. And so you've got to be able to listen and, and also make it easy, have structures that make it really easy for someone to have a good idea and for that good idea to be acted upon. And it's amazing how many organisations don't have a structure like that, where if you are below a certain level, you're, you are never going to be listened to. Your ideas are never going to be taken seriously. But I know, and this is purely from watching other companies, other large companies, that often the best ideas come from the sharp end, where people are actually trying to execute the, whatever the grand plan is. Uh, what the, the idea that always stands out in my mind is a very simple one by um, uh, an air stewardess at British Airways who pointed out to British Airways that the size of the coffee bags that they had on the 747 flights was just slightly too big. So they were constantly throwing away about, I don't know, I say it's a quarter of a bag on, on every trip. And that if the bags were altered, there would be huge cost savings. And that saved the airline thousands of pounds. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a, I don't know why that example has always stood in my mind, but it's, it is absolutely about listening to everybody in your organisation and making it possible for everybody to innovate. 
and then the thing is if someone's idea is recognized and acted upon they're more likely to have another good idea and they're more likely to share it with you because you've done something about it rather than just gone oh yeah that's a good idea and then nothing happens so listen Thank you.